Hello, my friends. Uh, this is Evangelist Anita Fuentes with Open Your Eyes People. And uh, I, I just want to share with you a particular scripture context uh, here in the Gospel of John, chapter 16, that I'm really impressed by the Holy Spirit to uh, bring to you right now. Uh, the Gospel of John, chapter 16, verse 1. I always say, if you have your Bible, please grab it, get it, read along with me. Uh, and let's read again as the Holy Spirit just impresses this word. Uh, on my heart uh, verse 1 these things I have spoken to you Jesus says that you should not be made to stumble they will put you out of the synagogues yes the time is coming that whoever kills you will think that he offers God service and these things they will do to you because they have not known the Father nor me but these things I have told you that when the time comes you may remember that I told you of them and these things I did not say to you at the beginning because I was with you. But now I go away to him who sent me. And none of you asks me, where are you going? But because I have said these things to you, sorrow has filled your heart. Nevertheless, I tell you the truth. It is to your advantage that I go away. For if I do not go away, the helper will not come to you. But if I depart, I will send him to you. And when he has come, he will convict the world of sin and of righteousness and of judgment of sin because they do not believe in me of righteousness because I go to my father and you see me no more of judgment because the ruler of this world is judged I still have many things to say to you but you cannot bear them now however when he the spirit of truth has come he will guide you into all truth for he will not speak on his own authority but whatever he hears he will speak and he will tell you things to come. He will glorify me, for he will take of what is mine and declare it to you. All things that the Father has are mine. Therefore I said that he will take of mine and declare it to you. A little while, and you will not see me. And again, a little while, and you will see me, because I go to the Father. Then some of his disciples said among themselves, What is this that he says to us a little while and you will not see me, and again a little while, and you will see me, and because I go to the Father. They said, therefore, what is this that he says a little while? We do not know what he is saying. Now Jesus knew that they desired to ask him, and he said to them, Are you inquiring among yourselves about what I said a, a little while, and you will not see me, and again a little while, and you will see me? Most assuredly I say to you that you will weep and lament, but the world will rejoice, and you will be sorrowful, but your sorrow will be turned into joy. A woman, when she is in labor, has sorrow because her hour has come. But as soon as she has given birth to the child, she no longer remembers the anguish for joy that a human being has been born into the world. Therefore you now have sorrow, but I will see you again, and your heart will rejoice, and your joy no one will take from you. And in that day, you will ask me nothing. Most assuredly, I say to you, whatever you ask the Father in my name, he will give you. Until now, you have asked nothing in my name. Ask, and you will receive, that your joy may be full. These things I have spoken to you in figurative language, but the time is coming when I will no longer speak to you in figurative language, but I will tell you plainly about the Father. And that day you will ask in my name, and I do not say to you that I shall pray the Father for you, for the Father himself loves you, because you have loved me and have believed that I came forth from God. I came forth from the Father and have come into the world Again, I leave the world and go to the Father. His disciples said to him, See, now you are speaking plainly and using no figure of speech. Now we are sure that you know all things and have no need that anyone should question you. By this we believe that you came forth from God. Jesus answered them, Do you now believe? Indeed, the hour is coming. Yes, has now come that you will be scattered, each to his to his own and will leave me alone and yet I am not alone because the Father is with me these things I have spoken to you that in me you may have peace 
in the world you will have tribulation but be of good cheer I have overcome the world folks you know we here at open your eyes people are really honored to bring to you the headlines breaking news matching Bible prophecy and we've been doing this for the past seven years online alone and um, there's a lot of things happening in this world in these last days uh, yes we've been hearing a lot of the wars and the rumors of wars the distress of nations uh, but there's so much heartbreak in the world a lot of um, things that are very devastating that have happened to the lives of so many that tends to be reported you know if only the good news was reported as much as the bad right if only the good news was reported more than the breaking heart news so we remember this day let it be implanted in our hearts right now that in the world just as Jesus said there's gonna be tribulation but we are to be of good cheer this is a command this is an authoritative statement that Jesus speaks to each and every one of us who name the name of Christ. And listen, friends, for those of you who do not name the name of Christ, it's not that he's withholding anything from you. Jesus wants you to receive the promises that he has purchased by his own blood that's available for you right now if you would just fully surrender your life to him. That's the access. That's the key that any one of us who are Christian is able to come in and receive and drink from the life-giving water that refreshes our soul, that strengthens us and enables and empowers us to walk in these last days in the fullness of joy that he's wrought for all of us. This is, again, his authoritative statement, his command to be of good cheer. It's the same word where he says, let there be light. This is not something that uh, you know, light was to try to conjure up and try to think, okay, how am I to be light? God just commanded for me to be light. How am I going to do this? How am I going to just brighten up and become light? No, when the Lord spoke, it became. And so it is. He speaks to you right now. Be of good cheer. <laughs> this is not for something. This is not something for you to figure out. How am I going to be of good cheer? You're telling me to be of good cheer, Lord. How? How do I do this? He says, no, you're misunderstanding. It's not for you to figure out how I'm saying it and it becomes <laughs> hallelujah be of good cheer he says he says yes in the world you're gonna have tribulation you're gonna see it it's ungodly it's horrible it, 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 it's it's the devil knows he has but a short time he's coming down with great anger but he says in the midst of it be of good cheer and so the Lord speaks to you even now through his word be of good cheer it has become now in the name of Jesus be of good cheer for I Jesus says, have overcome the world. Hallelujah. Father, we give you praise. <laughs> Thank you, Jesus, for the joy of the Lord is our strength. Be of good cheer. In the midst of your situation, in the midst of your circumstance, in the midst of whatever is plaguing you, weighing you down, trying to cause fear or anxiety, I rebuke that spirit, by the way, in the name of Jesus. Be gone now. I rebuke the spirit of fear. I rebuke ungodly, unclean spirits from trying to overcome the child of God who is covered by the blood of Jesus Christ, tuning in right now in the name of Jesus. For this is the authority that God has granted to us in his name. By the power of the Holy Spirit who lives in me, I command all ungodly spirits to cease and desist from coming against you, child of God, in Jesus' name. And I speak forth the word of God over you. Be of good cheer. Be of good cheer. Just give up a smile right now. Just let the Lord see your beautiful smile. <laughs> Doesn't matter if you're like, I don't really have a beautiful smile. I got some teeth missing. My teeth aren't as white. I'm not sure. No, give the Lord a sacrifice of praise by smiling. Oh, let him bless you right now. Thank you, Jesus. We love you. God bless you, my friends. Be sure to follow us on our Facebook uh, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter, and get more information about our ministry. Log on to our website, www.openyoureyespeople.com, www.openyoureyespeople.com. The day of the Lord is at hand. Get saved, folks. Get saved. Call on the name of Jesus, and you'll be saved. 
If you want to know how to surrender your life to Jesus, you're not sure even what to say to him, I'd be more than happy to help. Email me, Anita at emoaf.org, A-N-I-T-A at E-M-O-A-F dot O-R-G. God bless you.